Welcome to Amazonia. That's what we call this cool rainforest I live in. My name is Brooke and I live here with my family and my best friend, Monkey Moo. Monkey Moo and I love to swing from vine to vine and monkey around the forest. Hey, would you like to be little monkeys with us? He's not here today, but I think he'd love for you to hang out with me. <laughs> All right, did you know that monkeys are just one of the many kinds of animals that make their homes here in Amazonia? I wonder what other animals we might see if we swing from vine to vine. Hmm. <gasps> did you hear that? Everyone, quick, put your hand to your ear and see if you can hear that sound. <gasps> there it is again. Hmm, which one of these animals do you think made that sound? <gasps> That's right! It's a snake! The slithering snake says, Hiss. Do you know why? Every sound that we hear out here in the wild is saying, God, I love you! So everyone stand up and let's sing a song to God together. on the ground. Before we can go exploring in the jungle, Monkey Moo has two rules for us to follow so we can be monkeys just like him. Let me hear you say ooh one time. Great! Rule number one is to be kind. You can be kind by listening. If you can be kind monkeys who listen, let me see you click on your listening ears. Click, click, great job. Now let me hear you say ooh two times. Perfect! Rule number two is to be safe. You can be safe by keeping a lookout when you're climbing high or swinging low. Let's all put on our special eyes together. Zoop, zoop. You are marvelous little monkeys. I want to do something special for Monkey Moo today. Shh, don't tell him. It's a secret. I want to find the yummiest bananas and take them to him as a gift. But I need your help. Do you see any yummy bananas? I don't either. Um, I think we may need to climb up just a little bit. Let's get our climbing hands ready. Now shimmy up the tree with me. Oh, whoa, I can see some pretty flowers up here. But do you see any yummy bananas? I don't either. I think we need to climb a little higher. Let's go! Whew. Hmm. Do you see any bananas way up here in the trees? I do too! Monkey Moo is gonna be so happy when I bring him all of these bananas. Now, let's see. 
Um, I think we have a little problem. These yummy bananas are way up in the tree and we need to get them down to the ground without dropping or smooshing any. Oh, we sure are up high. I don't know how I can get these bananas down the tree safely without smooshing any. What do we do? Monkey Moo would know. What do we do? Oh, I have an idea. We can let my friend Amazon Andy know that we need his help. He lives in the treehouse, high in the canopy, even higher than what we are right now. And he always helps me when I get myself into a monkey mess. Oh, and he has the best stories. Andy and I made up a special call we do when we need each other. All we have to do is make the sound. Ooh-wee, ooh-wee! Let's all do it together! Ooh-wee, ooh-wee! Hi, friends. I see you could use a little help. And I think I know exactly what you need. Whenever my family and I don't know what to do, we go to the Bible for answers. Long ago, all of God's people had to work hard for a mean leader named Pharaoh. Let me see you all make a mean face like Pharaoh. That's it. Pharaoh was so mean, he decided to get rid of God's people. He made a rule that all their new baby boys had to be thrown into the river. Let me hear you say this after me. Oh no! Oh no! Well, there was a special mommy who loved God and loved her baby boy. So instead of throwing her baby in the river, she made a basket for him that would keep him safe as he floated. This mommy knew that God loved her little boy and would take care of him. So she put her baby in the basket and let it float down the river. Can you move your hands like they are floating on the water? That's it. The baby boy's sister, Miriam, loved him so much that she ran along the river, keeping her eyes on him as he floated. Friends, let me see you pretend to run with Miriam. Good job. Miriam hid in the tall grass and watched as the basket floated up to Pharaoh's daughter, who was washing in the water. She opened the basket and found a crying baby boy inside. She felt sorry for the baby and wanted to help him. When Miriam saw that Pharaoh's daughter wanted to help the baby, she went to her and asked if she wanted someone to take care of him. Pharaoh's daughter said yes, and Miriam ran to get her mommy. God loved this baby boy and took such good care of him. This boy's name was Moses. Friends, let me hear you say that after me. Moses. Moses. Good job. God showed Moses that he loved him by keeping him safe. God gave Moses a special mommy and sister who loved him and did all they could to help him. Just like God loved Moses, God loves you and me. Let me hear you say that after me. God, God loves, loves me. me. That's right, and God loves you, Monkey Moo. God has given you friends to help you out of this monkey mess. Carefully climb down the tree and see if your monkey friends can help you shake the tree so you can catch the bananas for Monkey Mommy. I've got to go, but I hope you have fun monkeying around today. So long. Thanks, Amazon Andy. I am sure God loves me because he has given me such great friends in Amazonia today. Remember the slithering snake we saw earlier in the jungle? Well, snakes are careful climbers as they slither down the tree trunks. So let's do what Amazon Andy said and climb down the tree very carefully like a snake. You're doing great, we're almost there! We made it down. Now, let's do what Amazon Andy said and try to shake the tree together. If we all shake it, I'm sure we will shake down the perfect bunch of bananas for Monkey Moo. All right, on the count of three, let me see you shake some bananas right out of that tree. One, two, three! 
Sophia! Wow! You little monkeys did it! Look! I even caught up and gave the tree a shaky shake shake. And those bananas look perfect! My monkey Moo is going to love them! I can't wait to give them to him and tell him about the Bible story we heard today. He will be so excited to know that God loves him too. God is so loving and there is nothing too hard for him to do. Everyone stand up with me and let's sing a song to celebrate. You got it. This week, don't forget that God made me, Monkey Moo, and God made you too. Before you go, let me hear you say this one more time after me. God loves me. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.